If there's a will, there's a will, there's a way. Hey, if there's a will, there's a willy nilly. <laughs> What's going on out there, YouTube family? This is Sammy Leggy here, representing Team JVS. I'm here to give you guys a quick review for the first three episodes of Apple TV Plus's Central Park. I don't know if you guys know this, but I love Central Park. Central Park, first off, has got two things that I love comedy animation you know reminiscent of you know bob's burgers or you know family guy or american dad and music and like they actually have amazing performers broadway tony winning performers i'm gonna show you really quick who the cast is if you don't know if you've never heard of it before but you got freaking leslie odom jr you got your boy, uh, the V Diggs. You got Stanley Tucci, bro. Um, you got Emmy, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Emmy Rapper, uh, Lupin. Um, you got Josh Gad. You got Titus Burgess. And then you got the witch herself, you know, uh, Catherine Hahn, who plays the role of the mom. And I'm going to tell you this. I truly love this animation the first season i need to review it i just don't uh right now dealing with a lot you know family stuff but i'm gonna come back i can promise you i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna review uh the first season because i go through different songs and i go through different episodes back all over again because i'm just like the, the crazy thing is this you got you know the family you got owen and you got um, his wife and his two kids. Um, his wife's name is Paige. His, his, his son's name is uh, is Cole, and then you got his daughter's name is Molly. Uh, Molly was initially played by um, Kristen Bell, um, but that ended up getting changed over to Emily uh, or Emmy. Um, she also was in Hamilton. Um, Titus Burgess is an amazing comedian, but he actually has a really good voice. Um, and they kind of just are living in Central Park. Like, Owen is actually the person that oversees, you know, the park. And so they actually have, like, a little, you know, town there. And Owen is black, and, of course, Paige is white. And so his kids very much so mixed, which is interesting to have an interracial couple with mixed kids. That's a very interesting thing to, to kind of slide in there, um, which they they do so much with tech because Owen is this timid you know, weird, awkward kind of a man. And, you know, he, he's always trying to do the right thing, but he's always putting himself in a situation. And his kids are kind of byproducts of that. Whereas Molly is this amazing, like, drawer and, like, she can, she's, she's an artist, you know, so to speak. But she's also a girl just dealing with, like, hormones and dealing with this love she has for this boy. And then his son, his son Cole is just weird and out there. He just wants to, you know, uh, love on uh, a dog, and <laughs> pretty much he 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 is actually the random one. Um, but I do love the wife though. Catherine Hahn kills it as Paige because she's this reporter that is an amazing mom, you know. But she also has her own stuff that she gets into. It's almost like she really does play like a Lois Lane character. But Catherine, bro, she's been killing the game this year. Anyway, I'm talking way too much. I need to go ahead and get on my thoughts on the first three episodes. I just want to kind of give you guys a backdrop. I didn't need to talk to you guys anything about Bitsy. Um, I'll talk to her. I'll talk about her really quick because uh, Stanley Tucci plays the role of Bitsy and uh, David Diggs plays the role of Helen. Now, Helen is the person that kind of helps out for Bitsy. Um, Bitsy is this, you know, overlord that really in the first season really just wanted to get rid of Central Park, but she's just a jerk in general. Like she just didn't care about people, but she cares about what she wants and she cares about her money and she cares about her status. Now, first three episodes. So the first episode kind of starts off with the blackout, the blackout in the city. And as you can see right here, <laughs> this is on the run because she, she flaunts too much in front of some certain people and they're trying to hunt her down. Like, you know, and it's funny because um, this is the first time that her and Helen, and well, this is the second time, Helen's always watching out for her, even though Helen could care less sometimes, but they had to trust each other, and they put themselves in an inter interesting little compromising situation. I thought it was really good seeing them as characters get really vulnerable um, without spoiling too much. 
And then the other side of this with the family, they're uh, dealing with the crisis because they don't know what to do. And they decide, oh, okay, we're going to play this game about witches. And the funny thing is that if you don't know, you know, if you look at WandaVision, Catherine Hunt plays a witch. It, they're convinced that the mom is the devious one. And it, it gets into really interesting banner, which the first episode I thought was, it was, it was pretty funny. Um, the thing about the first episode that I realized off the gate that I'm really happy about is that they are doubling down on the music. Now, sometimes when you double down on something, like sometimes it just doesn't work. But when you have artists like Leslie Odom Jr. and freaking uh, Devon Diggs and even Stanley Tucci, like all of them are bangers. They all can sing. And so they're, they're creating different atmospheric moments of musical inspirations. Um, and I think that they're doing a really good job of telegraphing each time where there's like a musical cue. Um, so it does work for their benefit as, as far as with the, the characters and with the story. Um, but the first episode, it let me understand that. The second episode, though, that is where I started to fall in love. That is my favorite episode of the season so far, because the second episode is really about Mother's Day and basically them trying to. Um, do what they can, you know, for Paige. And it's funny because the kids have their own perspective on what they need to do. And they're trying to help their mom. And they're trying to do, you know, above and beyond, so to speak. And it is such a cute and beautiful little story. Like, this is the first one I was kind of like, this is an emotionally resonant one. It's not just like, okay, I can connect with the episode. No, it's something that I actually felt an emotional resonance to. Like, there's a, there's a specific song that uh, Captain Hong sings towards the end that I really did feel something emotional for. And I was like, this is really, really, really beautiful. And I really appreciate it. The other side of it is uh, Helen. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, Helen and um, Helen and Bitsy get into a, a situation they've never been in before where Helen is taken off. Like she's, she's off and she's not wa watching you know, uh, Bitsy head over feet. And so it's a situation where Helen is away and Bitsy is feeling sober and she just gets in it with the bar, the bar, the bar manager. And it is bar manager is Lionel. And this is a uh, play by Norm Lewis. He does a really good job as far as his voice. Um, it's just hilarious. They're back and forth that they do with it. And I think that that was probably my favorite episode so far. Uh, third episode, it was definitely, it was a Molly episode. Um, the second episode does have some really beautiful musical moments, and I think probably my favorite episode. This third one, it also is something that I felt like when Kristen Bell decided to leave for the reasons that I'm not going to go into, we can talk about that in a different video, um, and Emmy decided, you know, she's just taking up the role. I was like, I know Emmy can sing. I know she can sing. But is she Molly? Can she be Molly? Is, is Molly somebody that she can kind of like, like how much of this was Christian Bell in the, or the writing or how much of this was like dedication to a character? And I think that this was the episode I was kind of like, okay, she can be Molly. Like it, it's not even a question because Molly in this episode, it's more so her episode, she's drawing, you know, her feelings and her emotions of a situation that kind of happens in a museum um, the altercation with a friend. And it's so trippy, too, because it's kind of like breaking the fourth wall a lot of different times and going to different layers. And I, I think that it was a really, from, from an animation standpoint, they did a really good job animating this one. And also the musical cues are really good as well. But the dynamic for me was, the core of it was all Emmy. Emmy was the one that won me over for the third episode. It's kind of like, okay, she is Molly. She can be Molly, and this will be fine. So if you've never heard of Central Park, hopefully that gave you a little bit of insight of it. I hope I didn't spoil too much. Um, it is an amazing show. It's a quick watch, too. I think like each episode is like maybe uh, 20, 20 minutes per episode, so you can easily go and binge it very quickly. So on Apple TV+, Plus, highly recommend you go and check it out. Um, I can't wait to look at the rest of the episodes, to be honest with you guys. Um, so I'm going to just leave this here and, uh, I'm going to own it. Yeah, I'm going to own it. <laughs>
<laughs> no, go and check it out. Um, and uh, yeah, if you want me to do more reviews for each individual episode, I wouldn't mind doing it at all. Go and check out Central Park immediately if you have the time.